So you have a mobile and you wish you could make a game there. Your search is over as in this video I'll be showing you how to create this amazing game. In this final episode we're gonna be creating the enemy AI in order to follow the ball and a way of restarting the game if there was a goal. Now well the following thing that we should do is that uh, you can realize uh, that when we play the game uh, our enemy as you can see uh, we can't see it in the right of our screen and that's because uh, Goodot is automatically resizing our screen okay so let's try to fix that so we're gonna go to project project settings and then here under our uh, display uh, settings we're gonna find this window all right here well you can modify for example the viewport width and height if you want but here the important thing is that you check that the aspect is set to keep and the mode is set to viewport okay so now when we close it and play you're gonna see that um, the engine will create some black bars over here and over here in order to in fact keep the aspect of the game now in order to create the enemy script i don't know why uh, i already have a script uh, in the enemy but it's actually the player script so let's just uh, delete this connection between, between the player script and the enemy and in fact we're gonna create a new script so let's uh, just create here a new script with uh, an object empty template and create and click here create okay make sure that this script is actually attached to the enemy node and okay now here we can program the logic then well here in our enemy the code is just very very simple in our physics process and uh, we're gonna get our ball position dot y by using this code get pardon dot get node ball and then inside our ball game object we just get the position dot y then once we have that position y we assign it to our current position Y, which is our enemy position Y. So once we play the game, what we are gonna realize is the following, okay? At the beginning, the enemy will be right there, but as soon as we touch the ball, as you can see, it also starts moving because it's currently following the Y position, okay? So uh, there we will have our enemy, but uh, something a little bit weird that happens that for example when the ball now collides with it as you can see uh, okay some things real really weird happen so firstly check that the bounce of the ball is set to one and then here in the max contacts set it to three okay so now when we start playing again you're, you're gonna notice that actually everything should be working just fine and actually uh, like most basic stuff should be made should be made i believe because as you can see the enemy moves also the player moves and well the only thing that should be uh, left is to actually create um the score points okay i would also recommend you to um firstly here uh, set the bounce to 0.5 because i believe one uh, is a bit too high Another thing we should do is increase the mass of both the enemy and the player to, for example, a thousand. Okay, here a thousand. Here, also, if this kind of yellow line uh, appears when you touch your screen, just click here on the add button and that should disappear. So, on the player, again, we're gonna set it to a hundred. Okay, perfect. Okay, now to create, um a way of actually finishing the game what you're gonna do um is to in our ball uh, we're gonna add here another node that is called a visibility notifier visible on screens visible on screen notifier 2d and here it says detects when the node ex extends are visible on screen so we can see that it is much like another collision so let's uh, select here the move tool and then we're gonna move it 
uh, right here on our ball. You can also resize it if you want, but it's not really necessary. And then here we have two signals. We can connect screen enter and screen exited. So I'm going to connect this screen exited to my ball script. Okay, and right here, once my ball exits the screen, I'm just going to here print a uh, ball exited, for example. So now uh, when I play the game, I'm, I'm just going to leave uh, the ball left the screen. Okay, like this. As you can see here in my console, I have the message. So uh, what I want to do is once my ball exits the screen, I want to restart the scene. So in order to do this, you're going to write get tree dot reload reload current scene. This is basically going to reload or restart our current scene. And that's exactly what we need. OK, so now here I am. And as you can see, when I uh, when the ball uh, exits, the game restarts. OK, and this is going to happen um, also if we score a goal. OK, also, if you're having some problems when it comes to collision detection and uh, you should uh, just uh, increase the variable called um, max contacts, I believe was called. Let me check this one a uh, max contacts both. Uh, I mean in the ball and also you could change it in the enemy and in the player if you want but um, fortunately if you only change it in the ball to four or five it should be working perfectly fine so this is the final result uh, of the game I know there are a lot of things that we could improve for example the, the player movement doesn't work perfectly fine the collision isn't always perfect uh, we could um, here create a score system. There are a lot of things that we could obviously improve, but this is just like a quick test about how you like this video. If you like it a lot, if you leave a lot of likes, subscriptions, comments, etc., of course, I will create a second part or just create this game from scratch, but with a lot of improvements. So, again, if you would really like to see more tutorials about with Geo Team Mobile, leave your like, comment and subscription. Now see you in the next one and bye bye.